You just received an email allowing you access to your online directory and mobile app. These next few minutes will walk you through all of the steps you can now take towards launching your online directory and mobile app. Feel free to pause this video in between completing the steps or watch the whole video before making any changes. It's your choice. All directory administrators will have two profiles. One will be the visible profile that all members can see and the other will be your directory administrator profile which is invisible. Your first step will be to edit the information that I have preloaded into those profiles and upload a profile photo for each. Let's start with the visible profile. Go to the online directory and mobile app link that is in the email. Use the first set of login information in the email in order to log in as your visible member profile. Once logged in, click on your family. If you have other members in your family that are members of the congregation, you can create profiles for them later, but in the meantime, edit all of the information on this screen and add a photo of yourself or your whole family, and then click Update. Scroll down the page and click on your member profile image. This will open your visible member profile. You can edit any information on this page, including adding hobbies, a cell phone, what days and times you work, etc. We strongly encourage you to change your password at this time. Click the Update button to save any changes you made. You will notice the password field is now blank. This is the encryption service at work. You can always change your password by typing something into that field and clicking Update. You, other members, or any other person logged in as a directory administrator cannot see what your current password is set to. Add a photo of yourself using the Photo Genie. This same Photo Genie is used everywhere throughout the online directory, so let's take a closer look at how that works. Step 1. Hover over Change Photo and click on Upload New Photo. Step 2. Choose a photo from your computer to upload. Step 3. Crop the image to the desired size and click Save. It's that simple. If you see a button that says Add to Staff, that means I didn't have your job title so I haven't added you to the Staff page. To add your profile to the Staff page, click the Add to Staff button, type in your title, and click Save. Now that you have updated all of the information on your visible member profile, log out of the online directory at the top right of the screen. Now we are going to log in using the second set of login information in the email so that we are using your directory administrator login information. Once you have logged in, go through the same steps we just did for your visible profile. Click on the directory administrator's family and change any pre-filled information and upload a photo of all of the directory administrators if you so choose. Click update to save the changes. Scroll down and click on your directory administrator profile. Update any information you want to on this page, remembering that only other directory administrators will see this information. The most important button to not touch is where it lists you as invisible. If you change this to visible for this profile, then all members of the church will see two profiles for you anytime they log in. At this point, we have completed the first step listed in the email of updating your profiles. The next step will be to create a visible profile and an invisible profile for any other persons you would like to have full administrative rights on the online directory. Following these steps will give these people the same rights and access that you have. To create a directory administrator, go to the Family tab of the online directory and click on the Directory Administrator's Family. Click Add Member to Family, followed by Create New Member. This will pop up an entry form where you can type in all of their invisible profile information. In order for the software to group things correctly, enter in the first name field, admin, and their first name as one word. Their username will be the same thing as the first name field. For a password, come up with something simple for them to enter the first time they log in. From there, they can change it to something unique that they will remember. Click Save when finished. You are now seeing what will be their invisible profile page. To make it invisible, click Invisible and then Update. The steps you just took besides clicking the Invisible button are the steps you will take if an existing family needs to add a new member to their family because of a birth, birthday, marriage, adoption, etc. The directory administrator's family is set up to be invisible. This offers you, as a directory administrator, a quick way
way to email all of the other directory administrators using the Email Family button. The steps we are going to follow now to create the directory administrator's visible page are the same steps you will take to add a new family and members of that family to the online directory. Click on the Admin button, followed by the Add Member slash Family, and Create Family. Fill out the information fields as follows. In the Family Name field, write the last name in all capital letters, followed by their first name with proper capitalization. This ensures all formatting will match when we upload the members in a few weeks. Use commas to add any other family members' names with an ampersand between the last two names. Add other common information for the whole family and click Save. This will bring you to the visible family profile from which you can follow the previous steps to add a new member to the family. Just make sure that you leave this profile as visible. Once their profile is created, Go to the Groups page and add their visible profile to the Directory Administrators group by clicking on the Directory Administrators group, then Add Member to Group, search for their visible profile name, and click Save. This group is visible and allows members of the congregation to easily find who they can ask questions of or who to contact if they need to add a new member to the online directory, etc. There is one last step to complete the process of adding a new directory administrator. Click on Admin, followed by Admin List, Add Admin. Type in the invisible profile name, Admin Blank, to find the correct profile. Click on the profile name, followed by Save. If you would like this directory administrator to get an email every time a change is made in the directory, click the checkbox under Change Notice, then click Update. To remove a directory administrator, click the checkbox under Remove and then click Update. This is also where you turn your change notifications on and off for your own directory administrator profile. Repeat those steps as needed until all of your directory administrators have been added. The third step we will look at is an optional step. Look through the online directory to see what color schemes are in place, which default photos have been selected, and by logging out, look at the contact information listed on the login page. In this step, or at any time in the future, you have the option of changing this information. Here's how you do those things. Log back in as your directory administrator account. That is the one that has the username admin blank. Click on the admin button followed by edit organization information. I'm going to walk you through this page and what information you can change and what information you should contact us about changing so that you don't mess up your online directory accidentally. Between making any changes to the information in different sections of this page, you should scroll down to the bottom and click Update to save changes and then come back to this page. Box 1. Login Information. This is where you change the text you want to appear on the login page. Box 2. Default Page View. Leave this box alone or contact us if you want something changed. Box 3. Directory Colors These are the colors of the online directory. To change colors, you can type in a hexadecimal code if you want a specific color. Google can help you figure out the codes. Or you can simply type in a color name and the software will find the closest color. As a tip, write down the existing colors so you can go back if you don't like the change. Leave the information on the left under Organization Information alone. We will update this information as needed. By clicking the Export User Information button, all of the member profiles will appear as a row in an Excel file. You can use this function to create mailing labels or other items as needed in your office. The last box as you scroll down the page is the default photos. The Directory tab 1 is Members, Directory tab 2 is Families, and Directory tab 3 is Groups. You can update these default photos anytime you want to. This will only change the placeholder images in the directory. It will not erase member, family, and group photos that have been uploaded already. To remove a photo from a specific page, you will have to go to that profile page and click Change Photo, Remove Photo. Then it will switch back to the default image. As always, remember to click Update to save your changes. Step 4 of the online directory is creating groups. 
I am going to show you the fastest way to create groups if you are planning on utilizing group administrators. Along the way, I will throw in extra steps that you will need to take if directory administrators are creating and maintaining the full group function without group administrators. Group administrators only have admin rights within the group that they are responsible for maintaining. They can add and remove members from that group, but not from the overall directory. Click on the Admin button, followed by Add Group, Create a Group. Type in the group name exactly as you want it to appear and click Save. If you are not utilizing group administrators, you will need to add a group description either during this step or at a later time through the group profile page. If you have a group photo you would like used, you can upload it now or leave that up to the group administrator if you are using them. To add the group administrator, if they already have a member profile in the online directory, follow these steps. If not, you can either create a visible member profile for them using the earlier steps for directory administrators, except for where you gave them the admin rights through the admin button. Or you can wait until GDP has uploaded all of the member information and then attach them to the group via these same steps. Click Add Member to Group. Change the group member type to a group admin. Search for their profile using the search box, click on their name, and click Save. Then scroll down the group profile page and give them a title, whether that is Chairman, President, Leader, Teacher, Director, Group Administrator, etc. It is up to you. If you are using group administrators, that is all the steps you need to complete to make a group. You added the group, added a photo if you chose to, and added the group administrator with a title. If you are not using group administrators, you will need to add all of the members of the group using the Add Member to Group button once GBP has uploaded the member information. To remove a member from a group, check the Remove box next to their profile image on the Group Profile page and click Update. That will remove them from the group, but not from the online directory. You can choose to use group administrators for all, some, or none of your group. It all depends on choosing the group admin option when adding them to the specific group. Groups can also have more than one group administrator. There is a short resource video designed for group administrators to show them how to maintain their group or groups. Those are all of the steps that need to be completed before the printed guidebook and directories arrive at your congregation's office. You should have several weeks to complete these steps, so take your time. If you have any questions at all, I am here to answer them for you at the contact information on your screen or by clicking on my invisible profile page when you are logged in as a directory administrator. The purpose of my having an invisible profile page is so that you can both contact me and so I can get into your online directory to do the initial setup and make any changes to advertisements or changes you may request throughout the year that you need assistance with.